Hello folks, it's MKX Jump here, and today we're hopping back on the VIP series to go and make some more progress with our Drake. We're going to be opening Prophet Orbs and can hopefully build a bunch of heroes to use as food to make him even more powerful. But before we get into that, I want to let you know about a giveaway that's coming up that's being sponsored by the developers of Angel Legion. If you haven't seen, I've been partnered with the folks that make Angel Legion for quite some time now, and I've been, you know, making a video each week showing you about different gameplay aspects of the game, and also promoting it out to you guys to encourage you to play it. Well, we're going to be doing a giveaway here as part of the channel and Angel Legion, where all you need to do is set up an account on the brand new Android server that's just opened, server 28, and just start playing on there. Now in Angel Legion, there's a PvE game mode called the Simulated Alpha, where you fight against a boss to see who can do the most damage. So what we're going to be doing for this giveaway is the first three people who are part of the community to get over 1 million damage against the Simulated Alpha are going to get some great rewards. The winner is going to get themselves a Sakura Dancer for their Angel Legion account, and the runners-up are going to be rewarded with a nice big stack of gems. However, the rewards aren't limited to Angel Legion as well. Those top three people who do win will also get access to account reviews on my stream and as well, I'll buy you a monthly card in Idle Heroes. So if you want to get this massive giveaway, which is going to give you free stuff in Angel Legion, Idle Heroes and bonuses on my Twitch channel, all you need to do is sign up on the brand new Angel Legion server, Server 28. However, that's not all you need to do. If you go into the description below, you'll find a link to a web page where you can submit your account information and enter special codes to get free rewards. Now, the special code that you need to enter on your account to be within a chance of getting the rewards for this giveaway is MKGC. 2888. I'll make that appear on screen as well so that you guys can see how that works. And that will get you some free resources for your account. As well, if you want to get a head start above the competition, what you can do is find some additional codes in the description. But I'm not going to tell you what those are. You're going to have to go find them yourselves. And you input them all in the same way. So if you want to have a chance to get some great rewards on Angel Legion, Idol Heroes, and part of my Twitch channel, all you have to do is make sure to set up an account on Angel Legion on Server 28. And don't forget, it's the first three people that do 1 million damage in the Simulated Alpha that have submitted that code on their account. As soon as you've beaten Simulated Alpha and got that 1 million damage, be sure to let us know in Discord. Take a screenshot of it, let us know, and I'm sure I'll see it, because I'll be playing there on Server 28 as well, although I'll make sure not to do too much damage against the Simulated Alpha so that you guys can still be within a chance of winning. Anyway, after you've done that, I'll let the admins know and you can get your free rewards and I'll also help you out with your Idle Heroes account. So guys, I can't wait to see you guys playing Angel Legion and you can find some stuff down below to find out where to download the game. I'll put a link for the Google Play Store so that you can get onto that Android server down below. And if you do have an Apple product and you can't play on Android, fear not, you can download an Android emulator on your PC such as LD Player, which I'll also link in the description as well so that you guys can get playing from your PCs if you don't have an Android product. Anyway, that was a lot of stuff for you to take in. I'll make another video tomorrow tomorrow, finalizing what you need to know about the giveaway, but that'll give you guys a head start so that you can get rolling on your Angel Legion accounts. Anyway, enough of that, let's go check out this week's episode for the VIP series. It is the end of the Profit Orb event, right now for me anyway, I don't think it's going to be that for you, it's probably ended by the time you watch this, but uh, yeah, we're going to be going in to the Profit Orbs to do 80 Profit Orbs, very excited about that. However, before we do, there's some stuff we need to clear up. If you go ahead and look at the chapters here, it says I need to open a chest in Brave Trial. Now, that's a little bit annoying, but uh, Brave Trial is open. So, oh, and, and it's cleared. I wanted to do this, but Tartarus has already been in and done it. So, fair enough. That's fine. And um, what do we get? Oh, Corpse Demon. Interesting. Tax. <laughs> Thanks, Volvo. <laughs> well, I, I found that way funnier than I should have done. And uh, let's see what we should buy here. I think the best thing is just grab some monster parts and just be done with it. There we go. Boom. So I purchased that. I didn't really want to purchase anything, but we've purchased some things. And let's claim this. Let's get a Garuda. Let's get some gems. What else? Right. Artifact. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Upgrade guild tech. Okay. That I can try to do. Let's go to the guild settlement. Let's claim this. Let's pull that in. And off to the tech we go. All right. We're using assassin tech right now. 
And I have three of them at 20. Let's see if I can get this up. Oh, but I don't know if I can. Oh, it's such a pain. Why? Why? Why is this a thing? No. I don't like this, right? Armor break's not going to help us because Drake can already do that. So what do I do? Upgrade skill damage to 20? Or just do the smart thing, which is constitution, but I don't think we can finish it. Oh, I don't like this at all. I think it's skill damage just so we can progress. Oh, poo. Yeah, okay, there you go. We've upgraded that. Now I'm going to focus on constitution. How far can this go? Nine? You know what? That's okay. That's okay. All right, at least we can go and claim our rewards. So let's grab those. Oh, that I did not like. And right, here we go. Clear campaign 14.5. Done that. Upgrade two monster auras to level 30. What are these exceptional expectations? What do you want from me? All right, let's have a look. Can I even get my monster aura up to that level? You uh, so close. So close. It's 26. Oh, man. That's annoying. All right, let's quick upgrade anyway. Monster's looking good, to be fair. I think we can take that further. What else do you want me to do? Go do some damage to the guild boss. That's fine. And do some profit orbs. Yes. An Aspen dungeon. How long is that open for? Tw 20. 22. Oh. Oh, no. Ah. Ah, that's... Oh, boys. I think we pushed this a little late, didn't we? Okay. Um, Let's go check our daily stuff. Uh, What have you got here? Right. Basic summon. I'll leave... Eh, you know what? I'll just do it. We might as well. All right. Okay. Let's have a think. Aspen speedrun. Yeah, but I'm curious if we can get Drake to E2 today. With the profit orbs, I think we can. Oh, but we're going to have to leave it. We may have to do that another time. All right, let's see what an E1 Drake can do, because there's no way we're going to build him to E2 and then do Aspen Dungeon. So I think we just go in Aspen Dungeon now, see how far we can go, and then build Drake up, and then have some fun. Yeah, that sounds like the idea. And then when Aspen Dungeon's back again... We can then see how an E2 Drake can do. So yeah, that's going to be good. Let's go check his equipment. That's all fine. Kiss and Ghost. He's got his attack, attack stone. I mean, we could upgrade this stone higher. What do you think? Upgrade the stone or leave it? No, I want to upgrade the stone. I actually do. I think that'd be really beneficial for him. Um, just to take it to like Celestial 6 or something. It might be worth it. What does the glory challenge want me to do? Let's go check that. So, what levels does it want me to get my stones to? Oh, Celestial 4. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. And the skin. Yes! You guys are right. The skin! We got a skin chest from Imps Adventure last week. You are absolutely correct. So, let's get the Drake skin out of here. Boom. Yes. Drakey boy just got even better. All right. So, let's go to skins. Let's pull that out. The Inferno skin. Nice. And let's give that to Drake. So that's some extra stats for him. And holy crap, Volvo. Spamming threes is getting too tiring. Sorry to disappoint, chat. <laughs> Thank you, dude. That's insane. Thank you, bro. You madman. Calm down with the donations, Volvo. I'm trying to make content here. Right. Let's upgrade these celestial stones. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we can get this higher. Let's see what we pull. Attack, attack, armor break? No, that's not going to be beneficial. Got to watch this dust number in all fairness. We don't want to push ourselves too far. So I think Celestial 4 might be all we go for. Right, speed HP? Mm. How far can we get this? Celestial 5, maybe? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's see what we get. Attack, attack, precision. That's great, actually. That's really solid. I'm happy with that. Good, I'll keep it. That's a good place to stop. All right, let's carry on. Into the Aspen Dungeon we go then, folks. We're going to put Drake in. Everyone else, it really doesn't matter. And let's see what happens. All right, okay. We've got some decent healing potions there. We've got some decent stuff. And uh, yeah, we're kicking things off against a Walter and a Molassa. Okay, that should be fine. I think we can skip this. I want to go through this as quickly as possible because I really just want to get into the Prophet Orbs. <laughs> So starting off with Aspen Dungeon's weird. I don't think we've ever done this before. We always put Aspen Dungeon at the end of the video. So to do it at the start of the video, ooh, just seems so counterintuitive, guys. Madness. All right, what, what are you giving me? Ah, uh, nah, move on. Don't want that. All right, Asmodel and his friends. That's fine. Walter with Molassa. That's okay. Okay. 
Gusta and Grey-Eyed. Easy win. Easy. Right, health's looking a little low here. Edgar on his own. This should be fine, right? Two hits. Ah, oh, three hits. Okay. Eh. Now what else are you selling me? Ah, Blood Blades. Okay. Angel Potion time. There we go. Well, let's see how this one goes down. Okay, if we dodge, we're fine. Yeah, totally okay. Wow. Absolutely brutal. Good job, Drake. Real nice. And we have an active skill. Pretty cool. What are we going up against now? Dark Arthur Doll on our own should be easy. Very nice. And Ormus with Thale should be easy enough. And where's our health going to look now? A little bit lower. Okay. <sighs> yep, Angel Potion again. All right, here we go. Easy win. Ah! He got decimated there on health. A solo Blood Blade? Yeah, that's fine, I think. <laughs> Value! Look how low his health is, and then it's a perfect moment to Angel Potion there. Real nice. Now, what are you offering me? Scrolls? That's a really good price for scrolls. Thank you. Uh, Ice Blink. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go. And yeah, I'm loving how many Angel Potions we had going into this. This is really clean. Uh, queen on our own. Nice. I think we could get to difficult 100 here with all our healing potions. I think that's very doable. What's after difficult? Is it Hell, then Nightmare? That sounds right. Right? Hell, then Nightmare? I always forget them. I get them mixed up. And Flame Strikes. Yep, that's another Angel Potion. Here we go. Oh, wow. Dodging those Flame Strikes? Very nice. Asmodel and Edgar. Cool, let's go. Awesome. Alright, death 70. Drake's looking pretty good. We got a Balrog here. It's gonna lower our health even more if he hits us. And uh, nope, we dodged everything. That's real nice. I'm liking solo waves when this health is this low. It's it's good for us. And that's a bunch of Asmodels. So yep, let's chug another angel potion. Here we go. Let's take him down. Oh wow, we dodged everything. And those crit marks did hardly anything. Because they didn't crit. <laughs> That was super lucky. That was a really lucky run. And here we go. Queen. Let's take it down. Oh, wow. She did way more damage than I thought she would. Uh, Dark Arthendol and Girk should be fine. Health's a little lower. Let's get a solo wave now. Solo Asmodel. I think this is risky, but it's okay. Yeah, good. Now we Angel Potion for value here. Uh, yeah, definitely for value. We've got full energy as well, so this should be really, really fine. Oh, wow. We could have actually soloed that. Even without the Angel Potion. Huh. Cool. Uh, Honor Guard should be okay. Not going to make you watch that. And let's go now. We're approaching difficult 80. What's the furthest we've ever got? Wow, this is the furthest we've ever got. Huh. Cool. A difficult 80 now. Solo Asmodel with an active skill from Drake. That's pretty good. Woo! Yep, one of those crit marks definitely went off. That's terrifying. Angel Potion back up. And let's go hit down these four Gurks. That was really scary. I was not expecting that at all. Field and Demon Hunter should be pretty easy. Yep. Ooh, we've got a Demon Potion as well. Nice. And we've got our warrior friends. This should be okay, even though we have no energy. We got stunned. That's not good. But I think Drake's got this. Yeah. Nice. Good job, buddy. Alright, Fat Moo and Mirage. Ooh, damage over time. Interesting. I am going to milk here. Twice. 
and that should be enough. Yep, clean. Good. Alrighty, we got some more milk back from that as well. Good, and we're at difficult 85. Wow, this is going real clean. I was not expecting this to be uh, as easy as it was. Then again, the only reason we lost when we went in last time is because we ran out of healing potions. So, yeah, I feel like we're going to be pretty good. Unless we run out of healing potions now. We do have 18 milks left and 3 demon potions. So I'm pretty confident we're going to be okay. Good dodges from Drake there all around. It's very nice. And, uh, four blood blades. Not good. So we're going to milk up twice and hope we get some dodges in here. Uh, yep, good dodges. That's going to be fine. Ooh, dodged all those active skills. Wow. Real clean. No! No, 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 no! Fudge, I should have demon potion, man. Oh, that active skill at the end. It hit us. It hit us. Man. Drake, come on, buddy. Dodge. Just one of them. Ah, well, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, well. It happens. All right. Next. Next. Let's move on. That, that was fine. G good job, Aspen Dungeon. Actually, let's see what was for sale. Uh, let's have a look. We got... Uh, I did decide I was going to buy the five stars, didn't I? Yeah. Just so we get more progress. And arena tickets? Uh, yeah, let's go for it. They're a really good price. All right. Let's have a look at everything else here. Nope. Those scrolls are overpriced. Profit orbs are overpriced. Oh, actually, there was stuff of gold there, wasn't there? Yeah. Arena tickets. Nice. And finally, this kid, what are you selling me? Let's get some casino chips for gold if we can. Arena tickets for gold. More arena tickets for gold. Casino tickets. Is that it? Oh, more. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here he's offering. Um, but that's us cleaned out. Nice. Good stuff. All right, let's carry on. Let's go to, I think, Tavern. Claim all that stuff. Very nice. That's coming through good. Actually, that reminds me. Let's do our monthly events. Uh, because Tavern, I can cash in. So, yeah. Wow, we're pretty much stacked on everything at the moment. Cool. Yeah. Submit this. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm one six star off. And, oh, Vol. People from YouTube tell us how you like your meat. Well done, medium, medium, rare or rare. Oh, it's always rare or medium rare, depending on the cut. But yeah, let us know in the comments section down below. How do you like your meat done? <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's looking real clean, man. We need one more six-star quest. And then we're good to go. Great. So yeah, look at all this stuff we managed to get. Even more profit orbs as well. Holy cow, that's taken us to 90, almost 100 profit orbs. Dang, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Uh, we are we are there we are there all right now profit orbs where should we put them it's shadow faction really isn't it we got to get those ithaca copies so i just want to go let's go all out in the shadow faction have we done any profit orbs this event no so we're just going straight up 80 in the shadow faction let's see what we can pull boys here we go let's make it happen first 10 Okay. Not much. Two five stars there. That's not bad. More four stars. Come on. Lutz. Okay. More four stars. 30 left. Let's get Ithaqua. Come on. Ithaqua or Tix. Don't let me down. Four stars again. Here we go. Final 10, guys. That's a shame. All right, let's go for replacements. We actually haven't had Ithaca at all during this Profit Orb event. I don't know if you've seen my Profit Orb openings from this week. We didn't get Ithaca at all. It sucked. Um, okay, we've got three Dominators here. That's worth bearing in mind. The more we can get, the better. And we're going to replace this Glenn, I think. Let's see what he can pull for us. Actually, you know what? No. We're going to go to the, uh, the Heroes, and we're going to pull out a bunch of those Shadow Heroes we just got that are basically useless, like a Bagbow... Nightmare Knight. The ones that are food or nothing, really. That's the way I look at them. And yeah, that's going to be that for now. So let's go to the Profit Tree. And let's go pull out mm, some replacements. Here we go. So let's get some good stuff. Right, Grumpy Corpse. No, you suck. 
Fade. Okay, we'll save it. It's better than what we had. Go back, Bill. Come on. Lamb. Nope. Death Sworn. Yep. He can be made to six star. That's real nice. Now let's swap this Glen. Lamb again. Bone General. Fade. <laughs> Wow, okay, okay. What are we going for now then? I think we need to make some four stars and then turn them into five stars in the creation circle. So let's go pull out the four stars we managed to get from the Shadow Faction. So we got our Death Swarms. We have our Lambs. We also got a bunch of Bone Generals. Same for Nightmare Knight. Glenn. Yeah, we got everybody. Bone Carver. It's all happening. And Kabagbo. Awesome stuff. So, that's looking real clean. Grumpy Corpse is coming out as well. And I'm just going to pull out a bunch of Shadow 3 stars. And hope they do the trick as well. Alright, Creation Circle. Let's go. We're going to make as many Death Swarms as we can. Because why not? Alright. And let's go with a Glen here. Oh, Bone Carver actually. Ah, Glen will do. Doesn't matter. Both are good. Oh, we can make two Glens? Okay, that's fine then. And now we're just left with the bad runs. This is just going to be a Bone General. And another Bone General. And I think we're done. Yeah, cool. Any more stuff we can make at the Creation Circle? Uh, nope, just a bunch of Shadow Heroes. That's fine, that's not a complaint. Just an observation. And let's go swap these Bone Generals. Field. That's better than Bone General. And let's go again. Dominator. Awesome. Right, third copy. Nice. So, uh, no, not even third, fourth copy. We want five copies of Dominator so that we can make him solid first hero. Uh, to ten star that we can then feed. And there you go, there's the fifth Dominator copy. So we are sorted for Dominators. Real nice. Real good. All right, let's swap this field. Let's see what he can become. Death's Sworn, nope, don't need it. Already got three. Death's Sworn again. Come on, don't let me down. Lutz. Uh, I've already got a Lutz, don't I? Yeah, I managed to pull one, so that's that's good. And I think then we just swap um, maybe a Death Swan, in all fairness. Grumpy Corpse. Grumpy Corpse again. And last one, because I want to leave some stuff for Shelter Mission, is a Lutz again. Perfect. Okay. So we've got three Lutzes, we've got five Dominators. Real good. Let's claim all of those rewards. And we should be able to now, if my hunches are correct, do even more replacements with the branches we're getting here. And also I can pull out a dark hero from the bag. So let's go to our heroes again. Let's go to our five stars. We managed to get a dark hero to pull out this dark spirit. And that's going to be the final dark hero we need for Heroic Miracle, which is going to get us a carry copy, which is going to help us as well. So that's real neat. Getting that carry is going to be super interesting. So she is now in there very very nice and what else can we do here let's go ahead and let's think about building someone yeah um let's think about where we can make some progress we could make someone in the forest faction because we don't really have any six stars i mean abyss is also potentially an option we've got an abyss six star there as well we got we got a lot of stuff actually just stored away we got a fortress six star don't have any shadow six stars Huh. Now, Forest, we have six stars for as well. Forest is looking pretty solid, actually. All right, let's go back to the replacements then. Let's see if we can get any better Shadow Heroes. So let's replace these Glens. We already have five Dominators. I don't need another one. Karma's cool, but I don't think we need her. I've already got a Glen, so... It's only something truly in interesting I'm after. Oh, and there... Is something truly interesting. Eloise, save. Fantastic. Real clean hero. Thank you very much. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, we'll take Karma now because I don't have other Glens. Uh, so let's go ahead and replace that Karma wherever she's gone. There she is. Bone General. Bone Carver. And finally, guys. Lamb. All right, so we managed to get Eloise. Really interesting hero there. Nice pull. She could be potentially helpful later on if we decide to go down that route. 
Uh, don't think we're going to be building ranges as a primary as a primary guild tech, so we might not go for Eloise. But we do have one copy of her, just like we have one copy of Ithaca, so they're kind of tied at the moment for whether we want to build one or the other. But instead, let's go ahead and take a look-see at what else we have lying around. Right, we have an elite hero five-star shot, so I'm summoning this. Oberon, solid. Um, not too bad at all. What else can we pick up? We've got a bunch of four stars here, so I'm not too bothered by that. It's Heroic Miracle now, so I've got like a month to save up five star shards. So I could pull out all our five stars now and see what we can build. Yeah, that seems like a smart decision. Let's do that. Alrighty. So we're getting a ton of heroes coming in here. Uh, some in Forest, some in Fortress. Yeah, pretty good spread, actually. Uh, we've got two Fortress heroes here, so I'll buy them. Nice. And we've got Abyss here, and we've got two Forest Heroes. You might think this is crazy, you might think I'm wasting my resources, but guys, look, i got loads of five stars. I'm okay. I think if you're going to get worried about this, guys, you need to calm down. It's alright. Now, let's see how we're doing in the campaign, actually. Let's just claim some stuff. I'm level 90 now, that's real clean. The one question I had is, do I buy this? Oh, you know what, guys? I think I'm going to buy it. Glorious Relics get us one step closer to an artifact, and I know it's 20 bucks, but I think on the grand scheme, the orbs as well and the value they're going to give us on an early account are kind of worth it. I don't like the Gloria though. I really don't. But I think I'm going to pick it up. Oh, screw it. I'm picking it up. One second, I'm going to buy it. Alrighty, guys. There you go. Evidence in and of itself. It has been purchased. Limit zero. I don't know how I feel about it, but it's definitely been bought. And um, six. Oh, wow. We get all of the stuff now? Oh, dope! Cool! I bought it on the seventh day, so I got everything as it was. Oh, that's nice. Oh, thank you. Look at all those profit orbs coming in. We're on 59. Wow, I could do another loop right now. Nah, I'm gonna leave it. Gloria uh, isn't worth it. But it does mean we can do a double loop on the next profit orb event. That's gonna be very, very fun. Uh, but also, I need to buy the crystal package. This is worth it, right? 30 relics. We're getting a five-star luxury hero selection chest. We're getting cores of transcendence. We're getting gems. We're getting the universal crystals. This is nice. So this I am going to buy for our VIP spendy spendy account. Again, I'll be back in a second. All right, there you go, guys. The crystal package has been bought as well. Our gem count is, oh, it's so beautiful. 43,000. Nice. We got those cores as well. Cannot wait for the void to open. And we got our universal crystals. Again, really good. Glorious Relic Count is getting there. We are on 240. So soon enough, I'll be able to buy a Punisher of Immortal from the Glorious Boost. Uh, maybe not this week. Maybe not even next week. Just at some point. And I hope it's sooner rather than later, because I'm telling you guys, it's, it's going to be good. Uh, actually, let's see the Glory event itself. Is there a chance to pick up... Uh, to pick up anything like that? I don't even get 60 from there. Is that is that it? Is that the only chance? Uh, yeah, it is. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Let's go look at our artifacts, actually. I don't normally go and check what artifacts we can open. Uh, it's got a little flashy thing next to it. Ooh, orange artifact fragment. Yeah, let's see what we can get. Uh, really? Invisible? That's disappointing. And the red artifact fragment, I might as well pull it out. Attack precision. Okay, that's not bad. Damage is a good thing. And let's go with the greens. Ah, uh, nice. More damage. Attack precision. Cool, cool, cool. And the purples. Uh, these don't interest me. But you know what? That's pretty interesting. All right. So, what now, folks? We've just hit reset. We're ready to go. We've still got Hand of Midas and everything to do. There's going to be a load of stuff that's suggested. I've got a heroic summon here as well. Let's see what I get. Oh, a four star. Cool. Four-star Dark Spirit isn't bad. Also, let's pop out these fellas. Molassa. Let's get a queen. Come on. Ah, Dragon Slayer. Ooh, getting a lot of forest heroes. Ooh. Can we build anyone in the forest faction? Let's do some quick maths. So, let's look at this. We have Oberon, Molassa, Edgar. So, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Ooh, 18 if you include the six star puppet. 19 if you include this forest puppet. Oh, we're not close enough to get ourselves a nine star just yet. We're still a little ways away from there. Hmm. That's a shame. 
We have a six star puppet chest. Yes, we do. So this could be a forest hero. Also, don't we get a forest hero from the chapter anyway? Oh, we do? Oh, boys. It's happening. It's happening. Progress is coming. Oh, this is going to be great, actually. That forest hero? Ooh, let's prep him. Who do we have three copies of in the forest faction? Dragon Slayer. Yes. Nine star Dragon Slayer. Let's build him. It's time. So let's quick upgrade this guy. Level 100. There you go, buddy. Merry Christmas. All right. Let's do this. So, creation circle. Dragon Slayer. Uh, actually, let's go pull out some Fodderinos as well whilst we're here. So let's go to the heroes. Let's go to five stars. And forest dummy. Yes, thanks. And anything else that we can use as forest food? Uh, flora? Am I going to build Flora on this account? Yes or no? Probably not. Do I use her as food? Yes or no? Probably not. Let's just do Dragon Slayer. Let's play it safe. So, put in you, put in you, and these fellas here, and there you go. Dragon Slayer 6 star. Lovely stuff. All right. Let's claim those. Thank you very much. And let's go across to the other places we can pick up 6 stars for this Dragon Slayer. So, we've got a puppet here. Summon that. And we've got another puppet in the bag. That I could summon, but I'm not going to because I can pull this. I need to remember that that's a thing. So let's go back to our monster. How close are we to upgrading the monster's aura? Upgrade. Upgrade. Oh, are you kidding me? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. That is fantastic. Now we go to the guild boss. Oh, boys, it's all coming together. Oh, and I can probably even kill it. Wouldn't that be satisfying? Uh, let's see what happens. Here we go. And make Gloria a 9-star? I don't know. She could be good in the future. You never know, guys. I don't want to... You know, I don't want to... I don't want to do it. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, wow. We lost Drake that quick? Oh, that's a shame. That sucked. Yeah, wow. Um, Putting Drake on the back line just so, you know, we don't die. That was terrifying. All right, come on. Kill, 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 kill. There we go. Good. We managed to kill a Berea. Now, we need to do more than 10 million damage. Yay! We managed it. Cool. Right, as these waves are getting harder, it's getting even more difficult to deal 10 million damage to a guild boss. Ugh. Not a fan. Claim that. Very nice. And Ivor the Little with the subscribe. Thank you so much, bro. Much appreciated. All right, let's claim those rewards. What's next? Open two chests in Brave Tribe? Gosh. All right, fine. I'll open chests in Brave Trial. No! I've been trolled! Why? Oh. oh. Really? That is heartbreaking. Oh, man. If we could have just opened that chest... We'd have been able to get a six-star puppet selection chest from here. Oh, and then we'd have kept on going. We'd have got elite five-star stuff. Oh. What the? Is that 50 million? That's 50 million. Oh, my word. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's another six-star chest. Oh. Balls. <sighs> heartbreak. Absolute heartbreak, guys. Oh, well, that's for next episode, so subscribe if you want to catch that. <laughs> let's um, carry on with this Dragon Slayer. So, let's go back here. Let's go pull out the dummy. Very good. And we have a dummy in a few factions now. That's pretty cool. Um, and yeah, Dragon Slayer. Let's get you made. So, we're going to evolve him up. And let's get this guy built. So, Faceless can go in there. Edgar. Oberon isn't going to be very useful. And Rosa. Yeah, that's all good stuff. So we're going to make them awaken. Seven star Dragon Slayer. Now we're going to pop in even more fodder heroes. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Do I need more? I need more forest heroes. That's really annoying. I swear, I swear we've got enough. 
Oh, I just have to be prepared to feed the Glorious, man. I don't want to feed the Glorious. <sighs> right, I'll open this. Watch me get a forest hero. No, it's a bleaker. Never mind. Hmm. Kill the Glorious? No! I would hate to do that, guys. That doesn't seem smart. And oh! I have a lot of four stars, though. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, wow. Thanks, man. Thanks for all those bits. Uh, no, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna destroy Gloria. No, no matter how many bits you throw at me, I'm not gonna do that. Right, what I will do, though, is I'm gonna open a bunch of these four-star shards. I'm um, gonna try and build some heroes in the forest faction. So that's gonna be fine. So let's go ahead to the creation circle. Let's build some folks up. Uh, ooh, nice. So we can make this death swarm. Cool, 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 cool. I think we're going to make a lot of progress today. We might even have, like, E2, E... Maybe a potentially E3 Drake by the end of this. So let's have a look. Let's go Christian... Yes. Fuse. Bam. And a Sierra. And let's go to the Abyss faction. Norma. And Forest. Woo! Let's go. Let's make... Grey-Eyed. Who else can we pull? Kargath, cool. And that's that's good, that's good, that's good, because that's what we needed. So let's go to this Dragon Slayer. Let's give him a bunch of fodder heroes for the two Demon Hunters and Kargath. Pop in the six-star dummy. There we go. And now for Dragon Slayer himself. So we put in Dragon Slayer. We put in this. And now... It's a Rosa and a Grey-Eyed, and we are good. There we go, guys. Nine-star Dragon Slayer. Perfectly done. That's going to get us rewards in the Glory Challenge as well. So that's nice. That's an Elite Hero shot. That's pretty cool. And I want to pop that. Let's see what we get. So let's go back to our heroes. Elite Hero shot. Aiden. Trash. Cool. Um, so I think now it's Dominator we build up. That we can totally go ahead and build a Dominator. And I want to aim to get a Dominator to 10 stars. So he's going to be our 10 star hero for E3, I think. So that's going to be our plan. So let's start building this Dominator. Let's see how far we can get him. So again, we're going to go across to the Creation Circle. We're going to build up Dominator. And let's go. So who do we use as food? Hmm. We've got one extra Dominator. We have Aiden. And we have so many double copies of heroes. I think we're fine just using Karmas, if I'm honest. So Fuse, and there you go. Six-star Dominator. And we have the three Dominators remaining. Yep. Good stuff. So, now. Do we build a six-star in this faction? Or do I pull one from a chest? That's the question for today. I think we pull one from a chest. I think that's fine. So, where's our chests gone? Let's go to the bag. And yeah, we got a puppet chest here, so let's go grab 6-star Shadow Hero. Alright, so far so good. We've got our Luxury 5-star chest, Rookie Selection chest. We've got loads of stuff just sitting around. Oh my goodness, all these 5-stars. They're going to be so useful. Like, two 5-star Hero Selection chests that we have, when we pop them, that's really nice. So let's, let's, let's actually just think for a moment, right? That's a Drake, or, or an Amon-Ra. That's going to be our Garuda. That's going to be a Drake or an Amon Ra. And then Ithaqua, Ithaqua, Drake or Amon Ra, Ithaqua, Ithaqua. Wow. We are, we are doing great for hero copies right now. This account is banging. All right. Let's go crazy. Let's go and build some food then. So, hmm. Dominator. Let's see how far we can level you up. So, let's awaken him. Let's push him higher. Here we go. Deathsworn, Deathsworn, I think is fine. Uh, as much as I'd like to keep them around, I'm not going to, because I can build plenty, plenty more. And then Double Bait, our lord and savior, guys. I think I'm going to have to use him as food. Sorry, chat. He's going to have to go. Seven-star Dominator. All right. Now, I need to pop in Walter, Walter, Walter. And then our six-star that I didn't pull out the bag because I'm a silly sausage. So just let me do that real quick. There we go. We've also got Lutz and Gustin. Wow, okay, we're pulling them out. Thank you. They're both trash, so we're going to use them as food. Uh -huh. So, I think Lutz, Gustin... Oh, we have 
Wow, we have loads of Lutzes. Ooh, I'm so tempted to keep the Lutzes around. Just to build another 10 star for Drake. Hmm. Tempting. Very tempting. That might be really smart, actually. Yes, yes, that is very smart. So, let's be intelligent here, guys. Let's not be dumb. So, Walter, Walter, Walter. Put in our six star puppet. Confirm. And that's going to be eight star Dominator. So, what I need to do now is use a Dominator. A six star we're going to get from a chest, which we can pull out soon. And then that's going to be a 9-star Dominator. And then finally we're going to 10-star Dominator. And it's all going to be good. Glory Challenge. Also another thing worth bearing in mind is whenever you get a 10-star in a faction, you get dummies back. It's super useful. So actually... Oh, actually, once I 10-star Dominator, I don't want a 10-star anyone else in the Shadow Faction, do I? That would be really silly. So actually, yeah, we can comfortably use the Lutzes' as food. Huh, good. Yes, chat. Lutz is going to be used as food. Nice. We'll just make a nine-star Lutz. That'll be fine. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, let's go feed Dragon Slayer to Drake. Let's get him to E2. So, in we go. Let's go feed. Munch, munch, munch. Dragon Slayer goes in. Ah, I need a Drake copy. Cool. Uh, do we have a Drake copy? No. All right. We're going to use this light and dark chest then. Actually, maybe the luxury chest. No, light and dark. Always use light and darks because they're more limited. We will pull out a Drake copy. Ta-da. And then we'll go to our heroes. Nope. Nope. Heroes. Heroes. Good. And we're going to pull out this Drake. Which means now, ladies and gentlemen, E2 Drake. Yes. More powerful, more wonderful, more fantastic. Drakey boy. All right. Look at that. Brilliant. All right. Let's uh, switch his skills around. We want lethal fight back on this guy. And yeah, that's real nice. Real clean. And let's level him up. Level 270. Sweet. Drake is looking real good right now. I am very happy with this. He's even got the speed, crit damage, and attack from his skin. Oh, such a great hero. So the plan now then is to build a 10-star. And that's going to be Dominator. So I want to build a 9-star Norma. That'll be easily done. Can we start making progress on that now? We've got a Norma here. Uh, well, not a Norma, sorry. We have a six-star Abyss hero here. And we have plenty of fodder heroes, actually. We've got King Bartons. We've got the Norma copies. We've got Karim. We've got Fat Moo. I guess we could put her up to eight-star. That's an option. That is an option. Yeah, we might as well do that. Make some early progress. So, yeah, let's level up this Norma. Quick upgrade to level 100. Awaken. And yeah, because we're just going to use it as food for Dominators, so there's no reason not to. Uh, we only need one Norma, so we're going to put in this. Dantalion, Fatmu, and Karim. Confirm. Awaken. So that's going to be 7 star Norma. And then if we go to the bag, we can pull out that 6 star Puppet. And then we go back to Norma. And we level her up. So here we go. What do we want here? Berea, Berea, King Barton, I guess. That's fine for food. I mean, Abyss heroes aren't really jumping out to me right now. There's not really anyone we can make, is there? Uh, actually, we're quite close. Uh, we need... Wow, okay, yeah, we're very, very close. If we go to our heroes, we pull out this four-star Illyria. That should be enough to go and fuse someone in the creation circle in the Abyss faction. Yup, another Norma. Nice. And therefore, I can claim not only more rewards from here... But also, we can go ahead and get our Norma up again. So, let's go here. Let's pop in a Norma. And then our two Bereas. Confirm. And just like that, guys, we have 8-star Norma. Clean. So, all I need now is another dummy. And we're going to have a 9-star Norma. So, we're very close, actually, to making a ton of progress. Because 9-star Norma is going to get fed to the Dominator. Dominator becomes 10-star. E3, Drake. And then we need two more 10-stars. The factions we're probably going to want to aim for there will be Fortress. Um, which we're getting close to actually having four copies of someone in the Fortress faction. And uh, I think it's going to be Mickey. Uh, Mickey's looking good. So we just need to wait to see who we get another copy of. Whether it's going to be Mirage or Mickey. But in both instances, I don't mind. I'm fine with either. 
Uh, also, Celestial Island, I believe we're on our way to get an Abyss Hero. Oh, Storm. Nice. That's that's good. We just need to repair the ship. But I think it's an Abyss Hero we're getting from here. Yeah. So, great. That's the puppet we need for Norma. So, we can be patient on that. Uh, then that'll arrive. Then we 10 star in Fortress. And then we 10 star in whatever other faction. Probably Abyss. And then we go Wild and build a Hero in Forest. Which would be Garuda as our next hero, probably. Or Ithaqua, or whatever we get enough copies of. So this is really, really good. So we're very, very close. So yeah, we're one Mickey copy away and two Mirage copies away of getting either of those to 10 star. So we are definitely putting in the foundations to make some huge progress, get E5 Drake pretty soon. And I'm liking this, guys. So if you want to stay up to date with this, if you want to see how much more progress we make in the future and just see what an E2 Drake can do, maybe even E3 Drake pretty soon, uh, join us, stay subscribed, and yeah, hit that button on the YouTube that makes more content appear. It's called the subscribe button. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in. If you want to catch content like this live, join us at twitch.tv forward slash mkxjump. And always, guys, stay tuned with the VIP series. But until next time, guys, we've had a load of fun but I have to go. So happy I do.